Asian stock markets closed higher today after the U.S. and China agreed to resume trade talks. Investor sentiment was also boosted by the British Parliament's passage of a bill to stop a no-deal Brexit. Here's Yun Jung-min with a breakdown of the digits. The U.S. and China are set to resume trade talks early October in Washington, D.C., following new tariffs that the two countries have imposed on one another. The Chinese Ministry of Commerce said Thursday that negotiators from the U.S. and China held phone talks and agreed to hold another round of face-to-face -face negotiations next month. China's top negotiator Lu Ho will meet his American counterpart Steve Mnuchin, and working-level talks will also be held in mid-September prior to that meeting, the Chinese ministry said. In the meantime, the Brexit deadline was pushed to January 31st next year as the British Parliament approved on Wednesday a bill that would require legislative approval for a no-deal Brexit. Worries over the UK's messy divorce from the European Union has also been fueling global uncertainties, along with the trade conflict between Washington and Beijing. Asian markets reacted positively to the news on Thursday. Japan's Nikkei and Topix indices saw around 2 percent increases. China's Shanghai Composite was up around 1 percent, breaking the 3,000 mark at its intraday peak. South Korea's benchmark Kospi was up around 0.8 percent and topped the 2,000 mark for the first time since early August, driven by demand from foreign investors. The tech-heavy Kostak was also up around 0.6 percent. Yoon Jong-min, Arirang News.